several years ago, Mike and I, we went to Sterot, which is a town or the biggest city, I believe, next to Gaza. And when right. there was a war going on. Very close to Gaza. It's like two miles away. Yeah. Um, we went there to volunteer during this difficult period in, in, in time. And Mike and I went there and we, uh, with a couple of other friends and we had actually had an amazing experience. We spent the weekend. We yeah. spent the weekend. We babysat these two kids that were deaf and therefore they couldn't hear the alarm going off and therefore they didn't know when and when there not were, yeah, to, there to were, run. There were three kids in the family kids. and two of them two, were yeah. both were deaf and uh, and mute. Yeah. So this was... Horrible, very sad situation. Wow. Very, very like awful. But we, we yeah. were there and I'll never forget I mean, it was really my first experience. Mike and I woke up in the morning. We're sleeping. You know what I'm going to say? Uh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, 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 we woke up from where? Where did we sleep? We slept in a bomb shelter. Mm. Okay. okay. Underground. And in, early in the morning, we woke up and we just outside the bomb shelter was a children's playground. And Mike and I, we made ourselves a coffee and we went and sat on the swings, right? It was yeah, on the yeah swings. we were sitting on the swings just outside. Yeah. Um, and... You know, I don't even know what time it was to, to have a have a coffee. And we'd never really been in a serious alarm before. Now, all of a sudden, the alarm went off, the Sever Dom, the, the, the code red. Right. And, um, I mean... But it's not a siren here in Zderot, it, right? You remember that? Yeah. It's Seva not a Adam. siren. It's, yeah, it's this pleasant woman's voice that says very, <laughs> very calmly and relaxingly. Almost, Good. She says, yeah. Seva Adom. Yeah. Seva Adom. But you hear it coming from loudspeakers in the tops of buildings. It's still yeah. freaky. So I... I mean, my I, I've, my first thought about it was that I sort of froze. Like, it took me a couple of seconds to realize what was going on. And that even though we were 10, 15 meters away from the bond shelter, we, had, less, to, yeah. we had to fucking run. Yes. Now, Mike, and I hope you don't mind me saying this. <laughs> no, not Mike at all. I'm, some... I'm not a very athletic person. Let's, <laughs> let's start by getting that clear. Mike's not the most athletic person. He has some issues with his yeah. back. Yeah. He turned into an Olympic hurdlist, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> he jumped up so fast and he hurdled over the gate, like the, the fence of yeah. the park. So we yeah. didn't have to take a detour to the entrance. He hurdled. Well, you've got, um, in all fairness, with two miles from Gaza to Zero, you've got like seven seconds to find cover. So, yeah. And as Mike's hurdling over this fence, I'm thinking, I better move. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so after a few seconds, he's already in the bomb shelter. I sort of uh, uh, sort of get up and, and run in and we go down. And I remember counting. It was about eight, ten seconds, something like that. And then you heard this like, boom, you know, like, but not you like hear a, the explosion. Yeah, but not like just a, an explosion. You feel the vibrations yeah, going through the do. ground. And it was quite a, a, a shocking experience. Shockwave, shocking. Okay. Dare, oh. I, dare I? I? Pardon the pun. Oh. <laughs> Um, eight years on, yeah. In the morning, okay, yeah. we're sitting here. I, now, I remember. Wait to, to finish that off. I remember once we yeah. got. To, I remember taking those stairs down into the shelter, like four at a time. You know, just <laughs> like my feet were barely touching the ground. And then we got inside, and we looked. We found our other couple of uh, friends. We we saw that all all of our party were were safe and accounted for. And then I remember Phil looking at me. And like breaking into the smile, he goes, I've never seen you move so fast. I, I, I didn't dream it possible. You know, we all just cracked up laughing. Yeah. And because that's that's the coping mechanism. Yeah. You know, the, the laughter is the coping mechanism. Yes. So a few years on, help. I mean, we're sitting in my, my small apartment now in, in Tel Aviv. And it's, I mean, what is it? It's a two, three centimeters of concrete on the top floor of a building. <laughs> Should a rocket hit anywhere upon this roof, you're in big trouble. Yes. <laughs> And I don't get out of bed. I don't even go down the stairs. <laughs> I just, you know, oh, 